Hey guys, just want to show you my cyclic tank setup. This, this is it right here. It's an Acrium 46 gallon, both an aquarium with stand. I got it as a combo. For filtration. FX4 canister filter. It's recommended for curves up to 250 gallons or a thousand liters. Pump output is 700 gallons per hour or 2650 liters per hour. One of the good things about this this filter is it has this outlet right here if you want to do water change without moving the filter just hook up this tube to this outlet and turn on this valve and you can take the water out and refill it through this outlet right here also in this 46 gallon I have this Flugel 307 canister filter hooked up. I know that might sound like an overkill, putting two filters on a 46, but you can never over filter your tank. You can under filter, but you can't over filter. As you can see, look how clear the water is. It also has the intake and the outlet right there as you, as you can see the size the difference in the size of the tubes okay for heating for heating the water I have this Aquion Pro 300 heater right here Is recommended for aquariums up to 100 gallons. It's fully submersible and it's also shatterproof. I had a glass um, heater before this one, but I switched it out and got this heater. Just because I like the look and the style of it. It's also shatterproof, that's a good thing because a lot of times you try to do water changes, you forget to unplug stuff, and your water level goes below the heater and it shatters because it gets too hot. Also, I have this Sayo P1000 prop pump water magnet mount. This, this power head pushes a lot of water around the tank. It's recommended to push push out a thousand gallons per hour. It's certain that makes a good circulation. Also, this tank came with a a hood. put a hood and a light but I switched it out I switched out the hood and the light for lighting I have this Acrian Octibrite LED light it's 30 to 36 inches in length they also have these adjustable legs to extend it from the 30 to 36 so you have three extra inches on each side when you fold the legs out. You also have touch control for a mix of white and red LEDs during the day. As you can see, and the blue 
accent light for the night. Let me just show you real quick. Here's the blue light. Just turn this off. That's the blue. So these ones you turn on at night. It stresses out the fish less. Okay. So I switched out the, the hood that came with this aquarium to the Aquarium 46 bolt for the hinge glass top. And it's recommended to reduce evaporation. So your water won't evaporate as fast, I guess, as the other hood. And it kind of looks better anyway. fish I have like mm, probably 20 20 plus cichlids in here I have the yellow tail SEI the white tail SEI the albino suckalofi the bumblebee zebra Aratus cichlid and a, I have a couple red tail borders if you look in there always have the rocks on it This the albino suckalofi right there. Blue zebra. My yellow tail ACI. It's a white tail ACI right there. It's the bumblebee. The bumblebee zebra. This one, and the next one, and the blue one. As you can see, the bigger output is the Fluval FX6, and the smaller one is from the Fluval 307. Those are the outputs. And this one is the intake for the FX4. And this is the intake for the 307. So well, yeah guys, there you have it. That's my um cichlid tank cichlid setup. Okay guys, thanks for watching.